Hey guys, welcome back to Angular 10 Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have created update employee component and we have configured a route for update employee component and we have added update button correspond to each employee in employee list page. And once we click on update button, it should navigate to the update employee page and we have also designed update employee form. In this video, we will make a get employee by id rest api and we populate that particular employee in the update employee form so that user can able to update the employee all right let's go ahead and let's write the code to make a rest api call and we populate the response of the rest api in the update employee page let's head over to the vs code id let's open employee service and here we're gonna write a rest client code which will make a get employee by id rest api call let's give a method name as get employee by id something like this and then we need to pass id to this method and this is the type of number followed by observable and then we know that this this rest api returns a employee object so let's go ahead and let's pass a employee as employee model as a type to the observable class like employee and then just simply return this dot http client and then call a get method so we are making a get http request right and then we know that this uh, rest api returns the employee object so let's go ahead and let's pass the employee model as a type followed by let's pass a uh, parameters to get method notice here we are using backstick within a backstick uh, we use dollar within a curly basis we're gonna use this dot base url followed by slash dollar and within a curly basis just pass the id that's it it's pretty simple right now you're gonna call this method from the update employee component well let's go and let's first inject employee service in update employee component open update employee component and go to the constructor just in inject employee service over here and make sure that employee service is imported at the top and let's go ahead and let's create an employee property employee equals to new employee and here we're gonna make a method call here employee service and then get employee by id So look at here this is the important so get employee by id method expects uh, id right and we need to retrieve id from the route so let me show you how to do it we'll use activated route uh, module to retrieve id from the route for example in a browser you can just search for activated route in angular and go to the activated route api so basically activated route provides access to information about a route associated with a component that is loaded in an outlet and this activated route provides a couple of methods like couple of properties snapshot and params so we use these properties to access id from particular route let's first uh, you know inject activated route private let's call it as route and then activated route and make sure that activated route should be imported from angular slash router and i'm going to use a route here so first i will create a property here id id should be a type of number and then here i'm going to assign 
id from route to id property here let's use this dot route and then we have snapshot and then we have params pass a key here to get a id value that's it so this is how we get id from particular route uh, using this syntax so we use activated route it has snapshot and params properties and we use these properties to access id from the route well now we can able to get id and we can pass this id here all right and just subscribe to this method so it returns observable so we can subscribe to it and then handle the response data here data arrow syntax and then just assign a data to the employee property here this dot employee equals to data and here we can also handle error response we just print the error response here like this okay great and this employee property we have used in update employee page here employee dot first name employee dot last name and employee dot email id well as soon as this employee property is populated with data that data will be reflected in the form now let's save all the files and let's go back to the browser and let's see how it works yeah here we go the browser automatically refresh and it internally made a get employee by address api and it will populate it employee data in the update employee page it means that we have successfully made a get employee by address api and we have populated the response of get employee by address api in update employee page so let's go back to the employee list page and if i click on update button of particular employee let's say ramesh employee here yeah, here we go the employee particular employee data is you know updated successfully on update employee page now user can able to update the first name uh, last name and email id and once user sub, uh, hit on submit button we again make a rest api call that is update employee rest api call we submit this update employee form data to the rest api rest api internally store this data into mysql database so in next video we will make update employee rest api call and we will send this update employee form data to the rest api and rest api will internally store this data into mysql database all right guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in next video